the properties of i are a little strange in that if you raise i to any power other than 1, it can be reduced. And these are four examples here written in blue that I'm going to go over. But the ones that are uh, important, the properties that we're going to be using, are up here at the top. If you raise i to a power of 1, it's just going to be i. If you raise i to a power of 2, well, by the definition of what i is, it's the square root of negative 1. And if you square the square root, it undoes that. So i squared is equal to negative 1. Using those two properties, just the you know, 1 raised to the first, or i raised to the first power and i squared, we can actually define all the other properties of i. i to the third is equal to negative i, and i to the fourth is equal to 1. Every single value of i raised to a power can be reduced to one of these four things, i, negative 1, negative i, or 1. And we did this in class, but I'll review it again here. If you take i to the fifth power, well, what our goal is, is to break that down into one of the four things, i, negative 1, negative i, or 1. Well, i to the fifth power is the same as i to the fourth times i. And we know what i to the fourth is. i to the fourth is 1. So this is 1 times i. i to the fifth power is i. i to the twelfth. Well, that is just equal to i to the fourth power raised to the power of 3. Because i to the fourth goes into i to the twelfth three times. So this is 1 raised to a power of 3, which is just 1. i to the 46. Well, if we just look at this, we can see that if it's divisible by 4, if the exponent is divisible by 4, then it's going to be 1. But if it's not divisible by 4, but divisible by 2, then chances are it's going to be negative 1. Let's just show that here. Well, i to the, how many 4s? i to the 4ths go into 46. Well, i to the 4th would go in 11 times, which would give us 44. And then there would be i to the 2nd left over. If you were to multiply this out, i to the 4th to the 11th power, this would be 44 i's times i squared, which would give us 46 i's. This is just 1 raised to the 11th power times negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. And finally, i to the 11th, or 111. How many times does 4 go into 111? Well, I know i, or 4, goes into 125 times. So it actually is going to go in, i to the 4th is going to go in, not 25, but 2 more than 25, which is 27. And when you have that 27, what's left over? Well, i to the third, because this will give us 108. We'll have three left over. So this will cancel out to be one times i to the third. But i to the third we know is, <coughs> excuse me, minus i. So this shows that any power of i can be reduced to one of those four things. i, negative one, negative i, or one.